my soccer universe. Well, uh, Liverpool may have won the championship, but I think Manchester United is still the team of the moment, especially for the past weekend. And yeah, all English get up here now. And I'm gonna review now the week, week, week weekend games um, all at once. I just finished watching Hallas. For me, Premier League reviews. Uh, since a little bit for me the air is out of the Premier League. I mean, if there's an exciting matchup, I will watch. But I'm so much on Serie A, a little bit on La Liga at the moment that, I, and because I have the option to watch a really nice um, Premier League roundup show. But yeah, let's get right through it. Um, except for the nice jerseys, Norwich Brighton was not much to mention. But Leicester City finally gets a win. Uh, it took a while for them to get there, but um, Iheanacho, after the, right after the half, after assist by Tillemans, makes it 1-0, and then Jamie Vardy, Vardy goes off this uh, Schneid. Uh, horrible defensive mistake, Barnes gets the ball, puts it to Vardy, who is clear uh, in front of goal, and makes it 2-0, um, and then in stoppage time, he, again after Barnes' assist, makes it 3-0 for Leicester City. I think the performance of the weekend was really Manchester United against Bournemouth. And what about those Bournemouth uh, jerseys away? Looked into in interesting, although I'm not sure how well it jived with the overall Manchester United get up. Bournemouth got the, got the first goal through Stanislas, but it was only momentarily. Um, once United turned on, they looked really, really good. Mason Greenwood after Bruno Fernandes uh, assist. Makes it 1-0, Marcus Rashford, 1-0, uh, 1-1, uh, Rashford with a penalty, um, gets the lead, and then Anthony Martial with a wonderful goal, really nicely curled it into the corner, 3-1 at the half, there was no doubt who's gonna win that one. Uh, though Bournemouth gets a penalty to pull one back, uh, but then Mason Greenwood said, nah, we're gonna win this one, not a nice shot. Uh, this guy is only 18 years old, really amazing. Um, makes it 4 to and Bruno Fernandes said, yeah, I'm gonna get in on this party too. 5-2. <laughs> United, actually, I have to say, I had always the feeling that they are building something. I mean, the building blocks there and uh, it probably needed only Bruno Fernandes to get there uh, into the team and then Pogba come coming back, that this team is suddenly gelling because I th always thought that you know it's not all that bad what they are having an offer. So really, if you're a United fan, I think at the moment uh, you gotta be excited. Um, then Wolves Arsenal. I actually saw uh, about 60 minutes of that game, and it was not the greatest game, but Arsenal gets another win, another one without conceding a goal. I thought after the restart, when they were lost so heavily to uh, City, that they're done and dusted. But no, they actually clawed themselves back and uh, Saka gets a really nice uh, goal just before the half. Um, Wolves tried, but uh, honestly, they looked a little bit toothless and then um, late Lacazette come, come, comes on and scores. Actually, a really nice uh, move scores uh, makes it 2-0 and I, I gotta give credit to Arsenal I didn't think that they had had an even I think for Wolves this was a really really uh, wrench in their ambitions Chelsea gets a relatively easy win over Watford it was already 2-0 at the half Giroud a nice um, nice goal and yeah if you take down Pulisic in the box you just can there's just a penalty that William uh, a converts and Ross Barkley in stoppage time uh, makes it 3-0 for Chelsea, Burnley, Sheffield United 1-1, Newcastle only a 2-2 against West Ham, although you know West Ham just came off the win against um, uh, Chelsea, so yeah, um, they are in good, good, good form, they take the lead twice through Antonio and uh, Suchek, but Al Almeron and Shelby can uh, equalize for them, so yeah, uh, probably this will see West Ham safe um, later on. Uh, Liverpool, very messy win, two late goals. Uh, you know, they are just playing. 
Sass, I mean, it was a nice goal. There were two nice passes, especially the one from Keita to Mane, who just slams in, and then Jones, after Salah assist, makes it 2 0. Southampton gets a big win over Manchester City, which we'll see will see them safe uh, from relegation. And the goal was one that uh, was really, really nice. Uh, Armstrong takes the ball from uh, Sinchenko, and Adams then f close to midfield over the goalkeeper into the net. That was a nice one. Then City had chances. I think there was one where they, Fernandinho hits the post and then had two or three uh, within the same move movement. Two or three chances to really add a pile on. Nope, was not to happen. So it stays 1-0 for Southampton, which was basically the shocker of the week. And then late, I didn't see much, but it was seemingly a very dreary, dreary game. Decided by an own goal uh, from Keane. That gives Tottenham a 1-0 win, which means that um, after this round in the table, um, Liverpool, of course, still still top, City also there. But now uh, Leicester, Chelsea, United, all one stay close together, uh, seem to be set on this Champions League spot, conditional on the fact that Manchester City is not given the Champions League spot. Wolves uh, took a damper as to Arsenal and uh, Spurs. Sheffield United also is kind of dwindling away. Maybe Spurs will kind of edge into it. I thought that Everton might do some something, but they would have a need to get a result from Spurs. Newcastle and Southampton go over Crystal Palace, who are also uh, safe and in the uh, bottom zone. Yeah, Brighton, there is only uh, academic chances that they could get re relegated, but don't think so. So West Ham also looks relatively safe. It's, it's the question is, can any of Bournemouth, Aston Villa and Watford do something? But I think the final program for Bournemouth is rather tough, as is for Aston Villa. So that's why Watford looks rather safe. Norwich is more or less down. Just finished watching the highlights of the midweek games and yeah, this time I even watched some midweek games uh, on Thursday because I got the time because the Serie A schedule uh, did not dish up all that great stuff. Um, I have to say though, uh, while I watch a ton of Serie A uh, as, as of late, I also have to say that the Premier League, there are some exciting spots, so um, I do get more, I choose the Premier League at the moment over La Liga. Anyway, let's go straight to, to the games. I'm varying Chelsea because Chelsea, uh, well, not the best performing. That uh, goes clearly to those guys that I've been varying before. Um, Chelsea also got an important result um, for them. Uh, and then some help from a uh, local rival. They take uh, against at Palace. Small London Derby, I would say. Uh, a lead through Olivier Giroud in the 6th and then Pulisic in the 27th are a really great shot. Um, I have to say, if it's in the near corner up there, I always question the goalkeeper a little bit. And you think Chelsea's cruising, you know, having to get themselves back in after this loss last week um, against West Ham. But Zaha, with a thunderous shot from far out, makes it 1-2. Still, Tammy Abraham makes it 3-1 for, uh, for them, and then you really uh, think now it's uh, Dustin Bentecke comes right back and makes it 2-3, and then in the end they even hit the post. But Chelsea hangs on to a vital win for them. Uh, Watford turns around against Norwich, um, and then Arsenal-Leicester. This was the other uh, big game. Uh, that day of was probably the big game, where Aubameyang, after a good soccer assist, uh, makes it 1-0 in, in the first half for Arsenal. Uh, and Arsenal actually having more chances and more of the game. However, Nketiah gets sent off uh, with a red card. Uh, really rough. Uh, you know, this is one of those that in if you look at it at VAR, it's clear that it's a red card. If you look at it in game, maybe not quite that much. Anyway, so Arsenal are only with 10 men and this gives um, Leicester kind of um, a little bit... Uh, and more impetus, Vardy then gets his uh, goal, I think it was the 100, 102nd, he scored the 100th in the previous uh, game that we talked about. Um, and he had a chance to win the game, but I think it would have been a little bit too much. Uh, and Arsenal, after winning a few in a row, now all, on only a draw. Leicester, <clears throat> a draw is also too little, so both teams will not be quite happy with that result, although it probably was the fair result in that one. Um, Sheffield United against Wolves, oh, 
kind of a good, uh, huge game, but you know, uh, both teams playing a good, good season, no, not necessarily playing, playing a uh, good game. Sheffield United being though the slightly better team and very, very late they get the win uh, through uh, Egan. Really great header. Uh, in stoppage time, 93rd minute. I think Wolves were already happy with the draw there. West United loses at home to Burnley. Liverpool uh, turning on a little bit at Brighton uh, because they get two very early, early goals. Uh, Salah in the sixth, Henderson in the eighth. I think the Henderson shot was actually really nicely taken. Um, and then uh, Tosa very late in the uh, first half. Cuts the lead in half. Uh, probably Liverpool was holding back, back a little bit. But in the end, uh, after you know Robertson and so on came, uh, come on, Mane come on. A little bit changing. Liverpool can experiment at at the moment. They're from a Robertson corner, Salah heads it in, and I don't know how you could really defend that uh, better because he's re this is really right on the head. He is there and he hits it perfectly that it goes into the net. Bournemouth against Spurs. I saw the last 20 minutes. Well, there was 12 minutes stoppage time. Um, there was a... At first you thought that Spurs should have gotten a penalty in the fifth minute, but Kane was tripped by his own player. Um, so clearly not a penalty, although Mourinho sees it otherwise. I don't like to watch Spurs anymore. They are horrible. They didn't even manage a shot on goal. And in the few minutes that I saw, I basically saw the what we thought was the 1-0, but it was a clear handball for Bournemouth in the 89th. Bournemouth had another huge chance. They were actually more pressing to win it than Spurs. I just have to have to say, uh, jersey-wise, this was kind of the opposite of uh, United against Bournemouth uh, for, for, for the colors. And please, Milan, never copy this Bournemouth jersey. Um, I have nothing whatever against Bournemouth. Last season had a great jersey. This jersey is an abomination, and you deserve to go down for that. For that one, although you know, let's see how it will go. Anyway, I thought uh, it was a pretty tough watch. Spurs is just horrible, and they don't deserve to be in Europe. And I think Mourinho should get fired rather soon. Southampton was the much better team at Everton, but don't manage a win. I mean, there were chances. I think the bar where Pickford kind of uh, goes, uh, puts it on the post and on the bar or the other way around. Then a soft penalty was given for Southampton um, that was put on the bar again. But Danny Ings uh, kind of stumbles a little, stumbles it a little bit into the net uh, to make it one in the third, 31st. It was more or less deserved, but Richard Leeson nice effort uh, in the 43rd makes it 1-1 and it was not really deserved. Southampton was the better team but they cannot find the winner and so it ends 1-1 and then I watched uh, probably the f I watched the for for first half and then a few uh, minutes of the second half uh, Aston Villa United. I really wanted to see United for myself and I have to say um, I knew that they need to get rolling so the first half was maybe not as indicative of, of that but I thought that uh, Aston Villa had a few chances. I think there was Grealish, there was uh, Therese Gay who shot uh, a little bit, a little bit wide, and United got the break through through a rather contentious penalty. And I, Bruno Fernandes is stepping on the player and falls down at the same time. I that this was a penalty. I thought was a travesty. Yes, once the penalty was was converted, United was the better team. And yeah, if uh, Tyron Minks. Is not so worried about his balls, but worried about the ball. I think the two nil would, uh, by Greenwood would not happen. I mean, this was a proper social distancing that he he he, he did. If he goes towards the ball, uh, he might block it or, or whatever. But on the other side, great shot by Mason Greenwood, to, who is also in great form, make it two to nil. And then uh, I, my personal favorite was actually Pogba's third goal. That was a beauty. Um, again, assisted by Bruno Fernandes. So uh, United then rolling and cruising and it is clear that they are the better team still i think with the penalty probably it went too soon in uh, the right direction but again united i think they have now won four in a row with three goals or more which is a premier league first united are on a roll and maybe they will join the title race next season which i think could be interesting for sure so with that the standings um 
We have, of course, Liverpool on top. That's all not an interesting. Uh, Chelsea is where it gets first time interesting. They now leapfrog Leicester City, and with the win, United is only one point behind Leicester. Again, it all is now contingent on the Manchester City verdict. For now, those three look pretty much set for the Champions League because Wolves were not all the great. Sheffield United, uh, yes, needs to wor work on it, and Arsenal and Spurs are just. Um, not themselves at all. Our Arsenal, I think, more than Spurs for sure. So I think this is um, Wolves, Sheffield United, Arsenal. Those three will probably end up in the Europa League spots unless a miracle happens. I think Everton shot themselves in the foot with that draw. And I think uh, if anyone at Southampton who have been playing really, really well, uh, Newcastle United drops up uh, a little bit because they were annihilated by Manchester City. A game we didn't talk much about. Uh, and on the bottom, yes, Bournemouth gets a point, but you know, Watford with that win, um, it doesn't look good for Bournemouth. Even worse for Villa and Norwich, um, yeah, they might be down next round. If we look now at the upcoming matches, um, which is now a feature I want to do in all the review videos. This is kind of the what to watch. Uh, we have a North London Derby coming up uh, on Sunday at 5.30. It's a game that I actually would like to watch, but then I look at uh, Spurs and I'm saying, uh, do I really want to torture myself that much? I actually think at United against Southampton, those are the two best teams coming out of the break. This could be a really, really in interesting one on Monday. Bournemouth against Leicester is kind of both needed result there to uh, talk talk about it. Uh, and I'm curious what Watford will do against Newcastle. That's also a big one. And Sheffield United, Chelsea. Watch out, watch out. Um, and then it goes further into the week until we have the next uh, video. Um, again, I'm just looking over the schedule here. Uh, there's nothing really that actually stands out except Arsenal Liverpool. That stands out. <laughs> nothing really stands out. No, that's our, our Arsenal Liverpool. Uh, that could be interesting. I mean, Liverpool has nothing to play for anymore except records, and Arsenal probably needs this win, but I think that could be interesting. Um, Leicester City, Sheffield United. There's uh, there's there's sleeves sleeper too, and you know keep continue watching Man Manchester United. Uh, yes, they got some help today or yesterday, but to be honest, they are really fun to watch. Anyway, let me know what you gonna watch. How if you agree with my assessment of the games uh, that I've been talking about? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.